All right, so I'm sitting here drawing the Matrix guy, all right? You know, I'm trying to get the uh, the whiteboard recreated. Okay. See what I'm saying? So, I'm doing this, and all of a sudden I'm thinking about Saturn and Jupiter. Saturn and Jupiter. The four and the three. Jupiter, Saturn. Now I know it says a great light to rule the day comes first. Okay, that's what it says. <sighs> what the hell is day four? Third day. And God said, let there be lights in the firmament of the heaven to divide the day from the night and let them be for signs and seasons and for days and years. So those are the other galaxies. I wonder if I can derive galaxy from that. Anyways. And let them be for lights in the firmament of the heaven to give light upon the earth. And it was so. 16. 116 guy. 116. 116. You know 116 lines to get to the end of day 7 in Genesis? Which is like over here somewhere. 2-2. Two, two. And God made two great lights. The greater light to rule the day and the lesser light to rule the night. He made the stars also. I get the order now. Because I had to redraw it. Okay, look. When Pluto is created, you create this chain, which means Jupiter is created first, before Saturn. But there's also like, is Saturn created first again, in a lower dimension? Okay. A great light to rule the day, and a great light to rule the night. Now. Ugh. Guy. If this cell represents Jupiter, hey, if this cell represents Jupiter, then it is created first. A great light to rule the day, a great light to rule the night. Okay? Created the stars also. Okay? <sighs> I'm gonna figure it out. All these things mean something. Look, okay, look at the black things. The one by twos. One, two, three, four, okay? Five, six, seven, eight. Okay? Solids, liquids, and gases were needed to create the plants. Three things were needed to create the plants, but it turns out to be like 16 things are needed to create the plants. Three days. Three days were needed to create eight links of chain. 38. 33 circled five times. You know, three and three circled five times. Okay, so Jupiter, great light to rule today, is created first. Now I'm torn again. Is that the galaxies? Is that the stars? It makes sense that the star is your chest to me. One of 88. Maybe two eights is your 88. Maybe I do have it wrong. You know, maybe 28 over here is just two eights, 88. That could be the stars. That could be Saturn, that could be Jupiter, and that could be the galaxies. But like, like I said, you're connecting a one by three here, okay, eventually. Like there's, these are all one by ones, but you're making a one by three right here. So this one by three is gonna connect to a one by three, okay? Of like, like Titiana and whatever. And Triton, Titiana and Titan. <clears throat> Triton, Titiana and Titan are gonna link to these Jupiter, Saturn, and I don't know, the stars. Oh, the duality in man, if her soul is here, it gets sucked in, and it, it's still there. I think my order is reversed. Okay, well, I'm pretty sure that's Pluto, Neptune, Uranus. These are all a bunch of their moons and stuff, and moons of Saturn. That's probably all the galaxies, because they know under they understand oneness. Okay, all, the, all life's in the sky, okay? Great late to rule the day, great late to rule the night. So Jupiter and Saturn and the stars. 2888. I didn't see that before, I'm retarded. Hmm. That's just another dimension of five. A circle four is just a five. Okay? Circle three is just a four. Circle five is just a six. Okay. So remember when we get to the five here, we're gonna go across and make the moons. Okay? 
So there's a new 1x2, 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 1x2 chain that I'm going to draw here. Okay, so the only thing I've drawn on this picture are the 1x3, 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 1x3. No, I didn't draw it there because it's created from the center, so I don't want to get that too crazy. 1x3, 1x3, you know what I mean? Okay, and I've done all my dots to be dots. I put a blue 69, a red 69, and those are my black and red 69s. Okay, uh, again, the black chain, because I stopped. Because, like, the blue chain will go down, I guess, because it has to go to the end of the heart. And you see how the heart got bigger to encompass this in, in my drawing? And the spade is here, and that's the club. Can okay, you see the club? And there's your diamond. And there's your fish. And there's your fish. Really? Come on. You know, there's your head of your fish. There's your 1x5 and your 1x5 hanging off of it. Fish. Fish. My little guy. So, yeah, there's lots going on. I just want to document the changingness of what's going on and how I believe that a great light to rule the day. Because everything happens instantaneously, okay? Creation happens instantaneously. There's no, like, time. Okay, it happened. A black hole's contained in, like, boom. Like, as fast as fast can be. So your 1 by 5s are going to continue like this and go over here. So the path in which energy travels is kind of, kind of different now. Okay? But, uh, maybe you can see how your Q gets its tail. See, I was always wondering about how a Q gets its tail. So, it's gonna get its tail now, and it's gonna come back on itself and go down here. Yeah, to start a new cube. A new one by four, a new G is going here. So if this is a G, and that would be 2G, 3G, 4G, the Earth would be 5G. But making a new G here would be like 6G. Or G6. Looks like a G, a seventh letter. Looks like a six. You know? So, like, anyway, I'm just documenting things as I go. Okay? You know? That's what's, uh, that's what's going on.